right, so here we have, we're switching gears here. This is a slide of the salivary gland. Uh, there's several different salivary glands, but you can see that they're, they all have some commonalities. Notice that there's a lot of open space here. Hi, by the way. Um, there's a lot of open space in these things. This is because you're producing saliva, so there's lots of available space to, to store saliva before you, before you have to use it. Now, there's three different uh, salivary gland slides, uh, but you can see that you get, the, there's two on the same screen here. Um, there's still that, those open pore spaces, open pore spaces, and then, uh, you know, lots of open space in this last one. Now, th these are the three different ones. I'm, I'm not, you don't have to know which ones are which. I'm, you're not going to be asked, is this parotid or is this uh, submandibular or lingual? Just know that it's a salivary gland. And this is on low power, so let's go zoom in a little bit here to medium power, and you can still see. Uh, the same basic pattern. Let's turn up the bright the brightness a little bit, so that if I go up here to this upper one, lots of space there, just up closer. So you're going to be producing uh, saliva and some uh, mucus and some other stuff here. But uh, just try to. This slide's not going to look like any of the others, uh, except for possibly the pancreas. But I'll show you how to tell, this one stands out like crazy, you gotta, you'd have to know that's a salivary gland. These two guys here could be mistaken for pancreas if you're not uh, on the ball, but uh, I'll, I'll make sure you are on the ball, because I'll point out what's the important part about the pancreas that, that you'll need to know. So salivary glands, lots of blood vessels, lots of wide open spaces, um, and then that's about it. So.